Extraordinary wealth has always been subject to extraordinary acts of thievery. This is the story of the heist of the century, the Antwerp diamond heist, where nearly $100 million worth of diamonds were stolen. The vault was located two floors underground beneath the Antwerp Diamond District, one of the most heavily secured places in the world. It had 10 layers of security, infrared heat detectors, a seismic sensor, a magnetic field, and a lock with millions of possible combinations. The man behind the heist, Leonardo Notrebartolo, had access to the vault as he was an old trader inside. While law enforcement believes that he was the mastermind behind the heist, he has said that an unnamed diamond dealer recruited him. This unidentified man paid him to take pictures of the vault's complex security system and created a replica of the vault using those pictures. The dealer also introduced him to other thieves with extraordinary skills. The thieves practiced and practiced until they perfected the robbery inside the replica, and on February 15, 2003, the night of Saturday, they executed their plan on the real vault. They started by disabling the heat-sensing infrared detectors and covered the security cameras with plastic bags. They used an aluminum slab and taped it to the door's magnetic plates side by side, keeping the alarms inactivated. They bypassed the combo dial, keyed lock, magnetic sensors, the locked steel gate, light sensors, and heat and motion sensors. Finally, they were in. They started drilling the security boxes and collected millions in the form of currency, diamonds, and jewels in their duffel bags. They got back into their cars and drove off without a single shot or an alarm being fired. The perfect heist, which was not discovered until Monday morning. The plan was to meet up in Milan, Italy, to divide up the loot. Notre Bartolo and another crime partner, Speedy, decided to burn down all the evidence before meeting up in Milan. On their way, Notre Bartolo decided to take a shortcut through town to burn the evidence. He got down from the car and surveyed the area. On returning, he found that Speedy had exploded with anxiety, throwing the evidence all over the ground and under bushes. The evidence contained a half-eaten sandwich, small diamonds, and Antwerp Diamond Center envelopes. Speedy thought he heard someone coming, so they drove away, leaving the evidence behind. The area where this took place was owned by a local grocer. He called the police immediately when he discovered the materials in the bushes. The evidence was enough to link the crime to Notre Bartolo. Finally, police caught the gang and recovered some stolen items. Notre Bartolo was sentenced to 10 years of jail, and the rest of the team members were sentenced to five years each. Notre Bartolo later said that it was an insurance fraud masterminded by the diamond dealer, and the heist was only $20 million, while authorities claim that $100 million are still missing. Was Notre Bartolo lying? Or was it an elaborate inside job 